Hello everybody, as we embrace the release of CubeSphere 3.1, we can use a variety of new features that the container platform can offer. Among others, metering and building is definitely one of the most important functions in this release. It helps you track detailed resource consumption at different levels on a unified dashboard. Now let's get down to brass tacks. Metering and building is enabled by default, which means it is an out-of-the-box feature where to see detailed building information, you need to set a price for different resources in advance, such as CPU and memory. Let's take a look at our documentation. Pricing information needs to be set in a config map. We can use the web cube control directly Now we need to add the information of building. Copy these parameters and paste it here. Retention date determines the date range displaced on the metering and building page for users. The value of this parameter must be the same as the value of retention in Prometheus. The building section lists all the prices of resources. Here the currency is set to US dollars, and we have different parameters for different resources. For example, this means every call costs you 1.5 US dollars every hour. Now save the file and restart KS API server. To see metering and building information, select metering and building from the toolbox in the bottom right corner. On the dashboard, you can view metering and building information in clusters or workspaces. Let's view resource usage in a cluster first. If you have multiple clusters or a multi-cluster architecture, you can actually see all clusters in the list. I only have one cluster, which is the default cluster. On the right, this is an overview of resource consumption in the current cluster, including CPU, memory, volumes, and network traffic. The section in the middle shows you total consumption by yesterday. You can also customize the date range and the time interval to see data over a specific time period. At bottom, we have resource usage data on each node in this cluster. Know that they are the data collected over the last hour. You can compare the data directly or select different resources from the drop-down menu. Now let's see detailed consumption data on each node. Click this cluster and select a specific node. Likewise, we can see similar data on the right and how resources were consumed on each pod in the last hour. Click a node and select a pod to see details. Close this window and let's take a look at resource consumption in workspaces this time. On the left side, we have a workspace list, which contains all the workspaces running on the current cluster. The layout on the right is basically the same as what we can see in a cluster. A consumption overview, the total consumption by yesterday, and resource consumption in the last hour. Click a workspace.
and we can also select a project or a Kubernetes namespace from the list. In a project, we can see resource consumption of different workloads. And you can even go further into a pod. By using KubeSphere metering and building, you can make better informed decisions on cluster resource planning and identify opportunities for workload changes that can optimize your spending. Besides, you can also export metering and building data for further analysis. Thank you.